Hi, I'm Steve Birch with Trilogy Tech Talk, brought to you by PMC. I'm here at the Flash Memory Summit with Raghu from Viking and Amigo from Sony. How are you doing, guys? Very good. How are you doing? Great, great. Thanks for asking. So uh, this has been an amazing event, and you guys have uh, an announcement that's been made, apparently a new relationship between Viking and Sony. Can you uh, tell us a little bit about that? Absolutely. Um, as uh, most people know, Viking has been in the NVDM technology from uh, DDR2 time frame, like around 2010. Uh, we have uh, DDR2, DDR3, DDR4 based NVDMs. Um, as most people know, NVDM-N, uh, it's got a, two parts to it. There's going to be a DRAM in the front end, and there's a flash, and there's a super capacitor, which, gonna, which is going to hold up the power during the saves and restores during a power loss. That's nice. a typical NVDIMM model, and there are other vendors who are going to be doing the same thing as well. But um, we were uh, um, you know, trying to draw the roadmap and take this to the next level. And we've been working with Sony. Uh, Sony, uh, by the way, are working uh, on resistive RAM technology. They have a resistive RAM-based chip today. They have a joint uh, um, development with Micron. Uh, they use this as a platform to come out with a prototype for the resistive RAM. And uh, uh, Sony has been looking at a partner to work with. And after their due diligence, you know, they have selected Viking as a partner to bring out their uh, uh, technology into the market with an NVDIMM-N product. And uh, it's very exciting. Very exciting. Yeah. Thank you very much. So uh, uh, I have the uh, joint development program started from the 2011 with Micron, and so test chip uh, we developed the, uh, last year. And from that, uh, I have been uh, looking for the uh, partner, potential partner. So uh, the uh, dedicated, uh, so especially uh, solution. So that uh, NVIDIA is a very fitable for the new RELAM technology uh, application. So I decided the collaboration with Viking, a big, very good uh, partner. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. So guys, this, this is this is amazing news. This is really really good to hear. Um, uh, outside of that, is is there has there been any other um, technologies? Or, or that that have been announced or been discussed in some of the keynotes that have really piqued your interest, maybe help you plan even the next step moving forward. Right. Um, essentially, as you know, you know, with this technology, um, in the second generation of NVDIM that Viking is going to come out with, we're going to replace the flash, you know, the backend flash with the resistive RAM, so that you know the DDR4 or the DDR interface will still be the common to the host, like like today, but the backend, which is flash today, is going to be replaced with this. What it's going to buy us is um, um, it's going to increase um, the the reads and writes, you know, because the performance of the resistive RAM is uh, so much better than flash. We get five times better performance for writes and 10x better on reads. So uh, at the end of the day, our saves and restore time is going to be so short that we don't need a huge uh, super cap to back it up. And the system downtime is going to be significantly reduced. And it's going to help the ecosystem when uh, building up the infrastructure and the chassis design. So this is going to be a, a big improvement in the NVDIM technology. So it might be a little early, but what are we looking at in a difference in cost? Well, <clears throat> cost is something that we're looking into, but you know, resistive RAM, uh, as we know, it's uh, somewhere between a, a DRAM and a flash. It's so much better than flash, but it's kind of going closer to DRAM. So there is going to be some price differences, but if you look at the solution as such, uh, uh, as we know, NVDIMM comes with a super cab. The fact that we're using resistive RAM, um, the super cab is going to become a smaller form factor, which means the price on that is going to be shrinking. Well, there might be a little bump in the price over here, but if you're looking at a solution perspective, we're going to be in the same ballpark. Mm. Amazing, amazing. All right.
Yeah, we believe that the RERAM compensates uh, so, uh, non-flash memory, low speed uh, non-flash memory to higher uh, performance. And also uh, uh, DRAM, so not uh, non-volatile memory, so just a volatile memory to, uh, uh, to support the other so persistent memory. Yeah, we believe that. Well, hey guys, thank you uh, so much for taking the time to talk with us, and uh, I hope you had an amazing show, and congratulations. Absolutely, thank okay. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you.